it in the check. Hi, Reaverland. I'm Hi. John. This is Sadie. Yeah. So I'm in charge of casting here. I do tours at Reaper as well. And then Sadie, what do you do? I'm in charge of the paint pumping machines and mixing and mm -hmm. labeling our paint. Yeah. You're the training mixologist. That's right. Alchemist. What do you want to be labeled? I, I'd as? like to be an alchemist, alchemist, but I think that's Anne's thing. So yeah. I'll, I'm whatever you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> alchemist in training. But I mean, I have alchemist. arrived just in time. Welcome, guys. I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Uh, remember, today is Monday Blues. Uh, let me confirm with Justin to make sure he's giving me a head uh, nod. Yes, we're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I completely forgot it was Monday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're doing Monday Blues. I actually forgot it was Monday until I just said it. So uh, on Mondays here, we match all of our gifted subs. So if anybody is going to gift subs, uh, we will match it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of subs, if you look at the bottom of the screen here, the red bar, uh, we're at 1412. If we ever get, if we get to 1700. We're going to be doing a giveaway for the top 100 Bones models and the top 50 DHL metal models. So that will be a drawing uh, once we get to 1700. I actually saw Rings Raccoon uh, in chat. He's the one who won our last giveaway. When we got to 1300 subs, we gave away one of each of all of our paints, and Rings Raccoon won. So congratulations, Rings. We're all jealous. <laughs> yeah, we That's were just, a, we were just talking about it. Great Thanks giveaway. for the gift bomb. Mm -hmm. Hey, Milan. Thanks for the five tier ones. Uh, so there's there's ten. <laughs> Thanks, Milan. Uh, welcome everybody that didn't have a sub. To welcome to Monday. Oh, question: Is Sadie gonna have a signature paint color? Uh, I feel like every paint color I mess up and have to sample oh, yes, is my yes. signature paint color, but uh, maybe something sparkly. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty famous for oops all berries. Oops all berries. And oops more berries. Oops more berries. Well, so, that's Sarah's. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, oops all berries. Is we yours. both. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we both made it. So if you guys like Oops All Berries, this is the one that uh, she's responsible for. Thanks for the gift bomb, Graz Yeti. Oh, thanks, Graz. So, like I said, so a lot of people, they don't know what the samples are. Do you, do you, we were, we were talking about changing the name from samples. I don't know if you saw that last week. No. Uh, because we figured that people might get confused. if When they see the word sample, they might actually think it's a color that we sell. Um, right. Instead of it being... Like if we're coming up with new colors and things like that. And so. used to, it would be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Used to, we would, um, if anything fell on the labeler, yeah. we would put a sample paint um, label on it. Yeah. And it would become a sample paint. But mm -hmm. we don't so much do that anymore. We put them in the dollar bin. Yeah, yeah. Without a label, which, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I hate, but we do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people on the weekends like it. They'll, they'll be gone by like the weekend. So. Yeah. Um, we could do that. I've always thought we could have a mystery color. A mystery, mystery color. color label. Yeah, I think last last week we were talking with chat and we came up with oops, O O P S, one Ooh. off paint or one off paints, or yeah, one, one off, off paint, paint slip, slip up, up, or one off paint. Yes. Uh, so something like that. And I like it, that. Call it call it an oops paint. And sometimes we'll make paints for something else. Like last week, I mixed two together and mm -hmm. then made it into a sample. Yeah. And it's it's really pretty. It's really kind of similar to um, draw nipple. Yeah. So it's. So it's if we have one. like extra colors just sitting around, like uh, I know that uh, some people are like working on their something like that, and so if you have yeah. extra gallons mm -hmm. sitting over, you mix it together. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. We don't waste any. Yeah. So I see a lot of people. Yeah, one-off paint series. Ooh, that's a good one, Sergeant Spine. One-off one paint, paint series. series. I like that. Oops. One off. I'm writing it down. Your check's in the mail. <laughs> um, paint series. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the the, the, the brainstorm session. <laughs> Plus Icarus, one. I did say drown nipple. Am I not supposed to say drown nipple? No, you can. Okay. It's uh, not drown nipple, but it's similar uh, to drown nipple. Some people in chat probably don't know what that is. Drown nipple pink is yes. a uh, like an urban legend color. The only way you can get it is you can go see Anne at ReaperCon and mm -hmm. ask her about her nipples, and she'll give you a drown nipple pink. Or sometimes we give them away mm -hmm. on the show, correct? Uh, yes, sometimes. Uh, like in, when you guys give them stuff, you probably yeah. got a few samples. Yeah, on, on Anne's show, we've given away several mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Drown nipple. Drown nipple so, pinks. It's, it's very a, popular. It's a nice shadow. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves it. It's a big ReaperCon story. So mm -hmm. I tell the story on tours. Um, so if you're ever coming to ReaperCon, you'll find out what it is. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a great story. Mm. <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to make a Drown nipple pink. Dan Goodchild, but um, mm -hmm. it was one of those, I had one of this and one of that, and I mixed it together mm -hmm. and made it into a pink, and it was just kind of similar. 
Uh, hey, Dan, by the way, uh, I see you in the Kickstarter comments all the time. Well, welcome. Yes, welcome. Uh, uh, so I know a lot of you guys, I told you last week that we were going to have uh, an announcement for the ship today. Um, just keep in mind that uh, things got a little, I'm waiting for things to get a little bit more concrete. Um, before I say anything specifically. Um, so I, we're just kind of making sure everything, all the facts are a-okay before I say anything because I don't want to ballpark it and say the wrong thing. So I'm just making sure I have the 100% go ahead before I say something. So it might be tomorrow, might be Wednesday. I don't want to hard commit. So uh, thanks for the Twitch Prime, UK. Um, yeah, don't make the ship out of concrete. That's right. <laughs> um, wait, did we go live early? I think we went live right on time, right? No, we went live on time. There yeah. just wasn't as much of a buffer. Ah, as so, before. Yeah. Ah. Teasers. Yeah. So don't 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 worry. Stay glued to the Kickstarter comments. You'll 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 see everything that is that becomes a hundred percent confirmed and stuff like that. So if not, you'll for sure sometime tomorrow or the next day, a hundred percent. Or you can have my hat. I'll give away my hat if I'm wrong. So. That's a nice hat. Yeah, it's signed by Ed, Dave, and Ron. Oh. I have the only hat that's signed by all three. So. I bet I could get one. No, oh, yeah. no I'm going to get one. <laughs> now that you work here. You, I mean. can, you can't have the only hat. Because mm -hmm. uh, this was a giveaway, if I if I believe correctly, right, on Reaper Live? This is a giveaway. It was a, a hat signed by Ron and Ed. But then I went downstairs and got Dave to sign it. Uh, whoa, Baff. Uh, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will. It's going to be a crazy week. We still have five days left. It's Everybody that is a veteran of the Kickstarter, we know that it gets pretty crazy. Uh, it's going to be just like the first and uh, first and second day of the Kickstarter. So if any past things like that, it's going to be pretty crazy. Thank you for the bits. Ah, thanks for the bits. Um, any idea if it will be multiple levels? Uh, messed off. I believe the current plan is yes. Yes. <laughs> no. It's going to be a riot in chat. Um, so for anybody that don't know, if you're new here, uh, make sure you follow us uh, on Twitch. It'll let you know when we go live. So next time we go live, which will be this show every day at 3 p.m. Central. Uh, and then we have a show on Wednesday with Anne called uh, Reaper Toolbox. Uh, and that's at 1.30 p.m. Central. And then we have a show on Thursday, which is Reaper Live, 6 p.m. Central. Um, Sigwolf? Yeah. Um, Ed and Daver, they're back. Yeah. They're not in Airport Hill. <laughs> yeah. Ed, we just, right before we went live, actually, Ed yep. came up here. So Ed just got back from out of town. So he just got here. So we're letting him, you know, get back into the groove of things before we start bombarding him with questions and things like that. So. Cat Stacker, what's Umber Hottie? Hmm. Is that a color? Maybe. Could be. Write it down. <laughs> will Ann be here this week? Uh, I'm not sure about know. that. She will be here, but I'm not sure if she will be. Uh, she hasn't canceled on us so okay. to my knowledge she will be yeah. here wednesday we don't know if she has the doctor's appointment or you know something like that you know uh keel hall yeah don't worry guys it's coming it's coming um is this thursday show any different because it's halloween that's a good question justin do you know anything about thursday show because of halloween um we hadn't played like in the past we i think what was it last year we did a I did some particular Halloween transitions and some other stuff. We kind of sort of themed it. But no, there's no promotions, okay. to my knowledge. But that could change. Could change. So. Soon. Reaper soon. Hey, Miniath, good morning. Remember, today's Monday, Monday Blues. Uh, for every gifted sub, we will be matching gifted subs. So, mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Uh, so, for anybody that's new, we're going to be... So in five days, uh, the Kickstarter ends on Saturday, November 2nd at 5.01 p.m. Central as when the Kickstarter ends. And we're going to be having a party here November 2nd from noon to 6. So I think we're going to be streaming most of it uh, with some hour breaks here and there for lunch and give people a break. Uh, there's going to be, what's going to be there? Uh, balloon twister. Mm -hmm. Pizza. Yes. Arcade. We're going to have, are we having a paint and take? Yes. Uh, paint, paint and take. take. Um, I heard there might be ice cream. Beth Marie's ice cream. I, I heard. heard there was going to be Beth Marie's. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Uh, so some painters and sculptors will be there. Giveaways. Giveaways. Uh, there's going to be some, maybe some metal models. So, and metal models to give away. We have Petey. Uh, we have the Robalds or the robotic Cobalts for that you see in the comic and the robotic troll. So those will be here. And then don't worry. 
for people that can't be here, we will be live streaming it, like I said. Uh, I think the plan is to just live stream it most of the day. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy because the Kickstarter ends at 5, so the party ends at 6, so it'll be like an hour of celebration and just having fun. So I've got okay. it counted, Sergeant Spine. If you are planning on being here, um, please RSVP because we might have made something really neat down mm -hmm. in paint and we want you to get it if you come. We don't want to run out now, so. Yeah. Yeah, we, we need to make sure. So the Facebook page is the Bones 5 Kickstarter Countdown Party, and it's Bones 5 the number, not the Roman numeral. Uh, make sure you look that up on Facebook and RSVP. Uh, you need to RSVP and tell us if you're bringing your kids, your family, you know, husband, wife, brother, sister, all that stuff. So we need to make sure how many, we can have enough food and all that stuff prepared um, and parking and all that stuff. So. Uh, yeah, we will do giveaways. I'm not so sure how often we're going to draw, yeah. but like if you can be in chat and then... What do we say every hour? That'd be cool. We could do something, do a giveaway every hour. Yeah. That's fine. Because we're going we're gonna to have a little bit of a break yeah. a couple of times in there. And but I, can, I can cast stuff to give away, so I, I have... I can, uh, absolutely. So basically, um, you can just get in there if you need to, watch while you can, and then enter, and then uh, later just check back to see if you want, and then you know send an email. Yeah, so, and people that can't be here live, uh, like, at the factory, uh, we will be live streaming it. So, we'll be doing giveaways and all that stuff. So, it'll be fun. It'll be a blast. Um, I think I'm scheduled to be there at some point, maybe for a couple hours or an hour or two. Um, so, that'd be fun. Um, I'm currently, right now, right before this, I was making paint pokers. If anybody's familiar with the Reaper paint pokers, I'll be making those for the party uh, and maybe some to give away. And they're so. little skulls with the, with, the, with the pen on it. So, when yeah. you're... You know, the little nipple gets clogged, you can... Yeah. I it's, love them. It takes a long time for me to make them, so I hope you guys love them. <laughs> uh, it takes a long time for me to make them. Paint poker, yeah. Um, I'll I'll show one tomorrow um, for people who haven't seen them. I'll, I'll show them off tomorrow. I'm I, in lost, the of making them. I lost my paint poker in my bedroom, and I know it's going to be an <laughs> awful surprise when I find it. Like, it's probably behind my bed yeah, or, or under something. Or you step something. on it or something. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, but they're really neat. Somebody asked, are you doing tours as well? Um, I yes. hope so. R R C T J G, <laughs> uh, I think the plan is, yes, we will be doing some tours. Maybe we'll try to schedule them like, uh, like every couple of hours or something like that so we can get big groups instead of trying to do a bunch of tours throughout the day. Uh, maybe we can do one or two big ones. That would be good. Um, then you can see uh, Audrey, <laughs> the paint pumper. Yeah. You can see the paint department, the internet department, uh, the internet fulfillment department. Sorry. Uh, casting, mold making, all that stuff. We do everything here. Uh, the only thing we do not make here are the Bones models. We make everything else here. We make our own paint, we make our own metal, everything else. And you might get to see the cat, Mama-san. Oh, Mama-san. She's the cat. best part. Uh, if anybody is a sub, you have the emote for Mama-san, zombie Mama-san. So if anybody can, you guys, if you guys want to spam Mama-san in chat, that'd be great. <laughs> um, you're a cat person, right? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a dog person, so. Hmm. Uh, so currently, uh, I believe it was two days ago on Saturday, or was it Sunday? Somebody will help me in chat. But I believe we unlocked the bust collection at 2.29. Uh, and then once that got unlocked, we got to see the new map. Um, and then now we're working on Bobby Jackson's zombies. Yes. Down here on 2.345. I love me some Bobby Jackson sculpts, so. Me too. And these will be added to the core set. So once we unlock 2.345, which is in about 20,000, actually. Looking at the number right now, that will be unlocked and added to the corset. So the corset's going to be getting bigger. Uh, thanks, DRX, for this Twitch Prime. So, like I said, it was on Saturday. Thanks, Lauren. Mm. Let's see. Ooh. Navarp, would you like me to bring my new puppy to the Bones 5 party? I would like that, <laughs> but I don't know if that's official. Yeah. Um, I mean, we we're are pretty, pretty pet, pet friendly. friendly. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they're nice pets. Yeah. And puppies are, you know. Uh, it's really pretty nice. Oh, speaking of that, thanks, Dan Goodchild. Uh, so I know a lot of people, you guys saw the update this weekend after we unlocked the collection, the bus collection up here. Uh, you guys saw the Dwarf King encounter. Yes. Uh, and I saw a lot of people were really excited about it, and me included. Uh, that was the first time I saw it. I saw it in the update page. That was the first time I saw it. Um, so I remember being at home talking to my girlfriend like, wow, look at this. Um, so I'm super excited. The train looks incredible. I think Justin has the graphic for it. Yes. I saw him reaching for his mouse, so that's why I brought it up. Pull that Look up, Justin. Look at me. Justin. I'm a professional. Right here. Please. Boink. Um, so we have a few models. Uh, we have the same two dwarfs, actually. I can show you two more. Bonk. 
actually one more. So, um, right now I saw a lot of people asking if the um, lid on the uh, tomb will come off. Uh, I think the current plan, unofficial, the current plan is to have it come off. Uh, Ron wants it to be able to come off and have a like a zombie dwarf spirit inside to come out. Um, that is the current plan. Don't quote John on that. Um, but that is the current plan. So I'm really excited for this, especially that statue. Uh, I want to see the statue, like in person. Because I don't know how big it's going to be, and I'm really curious. Uh, I saw some people saying that they want to make a portal out of the archway. Use the archway as portal. Um, uh, this is awesome, yeah. Thanks. Uh, this was, I think, I don't know whose idea it was. I'm going to go ahead and say it's Ron's. Was it Ron's idea for terrain or for encounters, Justin? I don't know. I don't know. But maybe it, a lot of times the ideas around here, are, they're often a collaboration. Yeah, they're like around. A, correct. They're like a, you mentioned something in pass and passing and then someone goes, oh, actually, that sounds great. That sounds good. <laughs> and then then you talk about it. And next thing you know, it's it's a reality. Yeah. So that's another good thing about Twitch chat too. Twitch chat. You guys and, and the Kickstarter comments and stuff have actually made some models happen like the dire yes. cabbage, the loot golem, the pumpkin uh, overgourd. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. There's also some more stuff that you guys haven't seen yet that you guys have come up with. So I'm excited for you guys to see those when they do get revealed, uh, which should be soon. Five days left. Uh, keep in mind that unlocks will only happen during the next five days. So by the time from now until the Kickstarter ends on Saturday, those are when all the unlocks will happen. And then we keep the pledge manager open for a good six to 12 months. Uh, it just depends on when shipping and all that stuff happens. Uh, whenever the containers get done. So we give you plenty of updates and emails saying, hey, the pledge manager's like still open. It's going to be closing in X amount of time. Right. So you're, you'll be able to add more money uh, over the next 6 to 12 months uh, in, that, in that range. So keep that in mind. But remember, the, during that time, unlocks do not happen. They only happen during the five days. So oh, Lauren said something, sorry if I said your name wrong, about... Um, <laughs> weapon diversity i believe oh. we have weapon sprues in mm -hmm. bones i'm not sure about bones uh, but i know we do in metal they were in bones three okay and then the tooling was a little bit complicated um so drop a one if you're coming to the party <laughs> oh um uh they were a little bit complicated with the tooling uh so i actually i'll write that down to go ask ron about weapon sprues yeah so i'll, I'll get an update on those for you guys good question um Oh man, I wrote this down, but it was somebody's question. I forgot what it was. Sorry. Um, yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people in chat come into the party. That's what Yay. that means. Yay! Um, mm, We're so excited. Um, yeah, but I'm super excited for the dwarf encounter uh, because that also got voted on on Thursday's show. Uh, so Reaper Live last weekend or last week on Thursday at 6 p.m. About halfway through the show, they voted on which encounter they wanted to see next: uh, the snow encounter, the ghoul encounter. The Dwarf Encounter and the Shadow Encounter is what it was called, like the, the Hunter Encounter. Uh, and you guys all voted, and I heard that it was really close when I was listening. Uh, Justin, how close was it? It was pretty close, right? They were all, like, pretty even. Yeah, they were. Which sounds insane. <laughs> uh, they were within 1%. Yeah, and apparently the, the Snow Encounter is going to be the biggest encounter out of all of them. And it's going to have the biggest piece of terrain. It's going to be the biggest, the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Maladrox says the weapon sprues were too large and you have not made packaging for them so they were not released. Well, I'm very sorry. Uh, that's my that's my bad. Uh, I'm a paint person. Yeah. Maybe we will though. Yeah. Now that we know you want them. <laughs> Did you just say snow encounter? Yes, Hagger. Ooh. Hagger the Hagger the horrible. Um, when is the snow encounter? Um, I don't know when it's going to be unlocked. Um, but last week when Ron was on the show, he he previewed the next uh, four encounters. So there was, we have seven encounters total. Uh, we've seen four so far. And the other ones we haven't seen are the shadow, the hunter, and the snow, the snow encounter. So those three are still yet to be revealed. Hagger the Hor Horrible also asked about um, paint videos. And we do have paint videos. Mm -hmm. um, we have Anne's toolbox. Mm -hmm. um, and also during ReaperCon, there's classes. Yeah. And then we have a paint and take, which I don't know how much teaching is involved with that or if everybody just gets together and paints but mm -hmm. uh, you can work your way up for that and then after that you can ask the artists whenever we have events yeah if, if you're in town 
Yeah, and uh, people at the party this weekend, all the sculptors, not all the sculptors, but a lot of the sculptors and a lot of the painters will be here, so you can ask them questions. Uh, so if you ever can ever make it to ReaperCon, that's a good idea. Classes, you can ask questions. So I see a lot of people will say, uh, yes, I, I said it at the beginning of the show, uh, the ship announcement has been delayed. Uh, we just want to make sure we have all the concrete information before we say anything. So uh, I just don't want to give out false information. So I'm just waiting until the 100% okay. So don't don't be mad. It is coming. Uh, I, I expect it tomorrow or Wednesday, but sooner than later. Sooner than later, 100%. Copperhand took if not later today. eight classes at ReaperCon. That's awesome. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I've been told because I just started painting seriously pretty recently and, and ReaperCon is, is what I was told to do the classes. They are yeah. a very friendly bunch of painters and sculptors. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Yes, the, the campaign page, if you guys have noticed, we updated it on Friday. Um, we updated the campaign page. I know it was kind of a shock for a little bit of people because we, we swapped things around. Uh, we moved the maps to the bottom and we put a lot more information at the top. Um, it's because we're having an announcement on Tuesday night on Talks Machina uh, on Critical Role's Twitch channel. Uh, they'll be doing an announcement for us, an exclusive announcement, something for the Kickstarter that you guys haven't seen. Uh, so if you guys can watch tomorrow night, uh, I believe it's 9 p.m. Central, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. I did it. <laughs> I remembered. Uh, so that'll be tomorrow night, and it's going to be an announcement for the Kickstarter that you guys haven't seen yet. So it's a whole new thing. So. I would stay tuned for that. I'll talk about it on Wednesday after they announce it and all that stuff. So I'm very excited. So if I mean, a lot of people here in the factory watch Critical Role and watch Talks Machina and all those shows. So a lot of people who are really excited. So all you critters, can we get some uh, critters in chat if you guys, if you guys like that? Uh, do we have a link for that, Justin? I uh, know it didn't work for Talks Machina. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the Critical Role Twitch is yeah, what it is. I'm just saying but, link it so uh, they can go follow. Yeah, let's see. I thought I actually put a command in here. Let me check it real quick. Is it Critical Role themed? Um, I don't think so. It's more Reaper themed, uh, the announcement is. so. Hello, so. Reaper Harley. Hey. <laughs> we all know who that is. That's right. <laughs> uh, how has been working with the Crit Role team been, Miminem says. Uh, we worked with them before, um, didn't we, Justin? We did um, when they were on Geek and Sundry's YouTube channel or Twitch channel. We worked with them and did Painters Guild. We did with, with Will uh, Friedel. Will Friedel, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really nice over there. So I mean, they're they're really sweet in their emails and stuff. So that they are, they were yeah. pretty cool people. Will himself is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So I mean, I grew up watching Boy Meets World. So oh, funny story about that, real fast. I thought yeah. I told you about this mm -hmm. when we were setting up in the pre uh, talks and oh, stuff because yeah, Will is sitting there. We're talking to him, right? Mm -hmm. And I whispered to Ron, and he could hear it through the mic. And I was kind of being loud. I was like, "Tell tell him you love Boy Meets World." <laughs> <laughs> and he, he goes, I heard that. <laughs> but uh, uh, that I, I love funny. Will Friedle. Yeah. Yeah, he's I, super cool. Yeah, I watched his Between the Sheets interview and all that stuff. So uh, we're big fans over here of Critical Role. So. Forever Night, Ed did make it back. He just got back. Yeah, right before we went live. He poked his head in and said, he wa waved and said hello. He was on Boy Meets World. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was the older brother. Yeah, most of us millennials ranged from age 25 to like 35. That's what we saw him on mostly. Um, all right, you guys... Will you guys be on the new primetime show? Uh, we, we haven't talked about all that stuff. We're just, you know, that's for the future. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Let's just enjoy the present. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Be here now. Leave it in the moment. Um, hey, Forever Night, uh, Zombie, Malachar. I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Uh, we're chasing away the Monday blues with our Reaper Live update show, uh, Bones 5 Live. Um, and we're matching all, all sub, sub, uh, gifted subs today. So if you're going to gift subs, we will be matching it. Uh, and we're working our way towards our 1700 goal down there at the bottom in the red bar. Um, so we're working towards our 1700 goal. We'll be giving away top 100 bones and top 50 DHL metal, which is a total of 150 minis mm -hmm. of varying sizes. So for free. For free. <laughs> Same crying, um, I'm also waiting impatiently for the Greek 3 reveal. Oh. I'm very excited about that. Yes. That, the rumor has it, that is one of the upcoming things <laughs> ron was telling me right before this ghoul encounter yes i'm excited for that i i love all the encounters all the encounters are very good uh so anybody that's that hasn't heard why we're doing encounters we just kind of wanted something to do with mixing terrain monsters good guys bad guys 
all that together. So um, we just wanted to create like these little tiny encounters that if you wanted to use the terrain, you could take it out and move, use it on your own game, drop it in and out, things like that. So I, I really like the idea. Um, it's really good. Um, we have a request for the QVC cam. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we have a few things to show off, actually. So all you chronoscope people in chat, uh, people that have been asking for chronoscope, I saw some chronoscope minis this morning, and I have a few to show you. Um, but also there's some stuff here as well. These are from the Dwarf King's encounter. These three dwarfs right here that are coming around, uh, these are part of the Dwarf King's encounter uh, that you see on the graphic. Uh, so there's three of them right there. And then here's two chronoscope minis coming around the bin right here. Uh, there you go, bad boy. There's Santa. Who doesn't love Santa? Who doesn't love Santa? <laughs> He's got a teddy bear. Yes. So I, I, I did see a lot of the um, chronoscope minis this morning. Uh, Collins was actually priming them and getting them ready uh, to show you guys. Yeah, this guy's really good, uh, this big boy here. He has a little uh, crossbow on his arm, uh, raising his hammer. Let me see big boy, okay. I'll wait for him to come around. There you go. You guys can get a good look at him. Uh, so there you go. A lot of people wanted to see him. I'll give you a little turnaround of him right here. Did you see his little crossbow there? Yeah. A lot of people sounded like this. Jeez, yeah, versus Santa. Yeah, Santa. Who doesn't love Santa? Got to get that. Uh, so yeah, there'll be. I, I know that there is a there is a chronoscope coming. I've, I saw a bunch of stuff uh, being primed and getting ready ready this morning. So it is coming. That's funny. Who? Uh, hey, Hager the horrible said, uh, "Why does Santa look sad? Did the elves <laughs> unionize." Did the elves <laughs> unionize. Uh, that's why it's saying that, uh, Christmas is going to be delayed this year. Uh, like the teddy bear he's holding. Yeah, he looks. He does look Me a little too. sad. It looks like he's kind of sitting, waiting for the bus stop. Like <laughs> he's like waiting to get on his. Where's my sleigh at? Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh. I'm gonna turn this back on so we can go around. Oh. OCD. Got to go the other way. Those dwarves look great. Yeah. Jakuwaku says. Oh, I they were, agree. They were sculpted by uh, Tom Mason. Tom Mason. Excellent facial hair. Speaking of. Speaking of beards, yes. we got some real nice facial hair. Uh, actually, these are my favorite beards out of all the dwarves we have. These are my favorite beards. Um, I wish uh, I like the braiding, uh, especially the one on the middle there. You can see the big braided. Yes. Uh, and then the one coming around on the far right here. Uh, incredible, incredible beards. So. I just look at that and I think, red hair triad, ginger beards. Uh, all is the Tom way. gonna be at the party? I don't know. I can find out, Incubus. Um, so I saw a lot of you guys asking for Greek part three. So we get this bad boy. Ooh. We have the Pegasus, which we showed off last week. Um, and there's one more. I just got to find it. Uh, bear with me. I'm looking for it. Oh, it's right here. There he is. And the Minotaur. Boom. There you go. So a lot of people asking for Greek part three kind of spoilers. We have the Pegasus that we showed off last week. Um, so yeah, there he is coming around the bend. Remember, he, this is a master, and he's, his wings are put together with blue putty, so blue tacky tape. Um, so don't, don't judge him on that. Um, who would win between Cerberus and the Pegasus? We mm. had this question last week between Dragon and Pegasus. I always think Pegasus. They're, they're magical creatures, and I don't think they can be beat. <sighs> John and or Sadie, can you tell those of us who don't know what Chronoscope is more about it? So Chronoscope is our, it's kind of our fantasy-ish line. It's where we put all of our like crazy ideas like steampunk, like uh, scarecrows, and it's all of our fantasy things like orangutans with guns. We've and got a rock star in there and yeah, some, all sorts of some stuff. Some zombie night walkers. Um, there's just, that's where we put all of our, our crazy sci-fi stuff. That don't, that don't fit in our fantasy lines. So that's that's kind of where we, it's our sci-fi pulpy stuff. So fantasy-ish, yeah. Pegasus is ambushing Sir Forskill, Jakuwaku. Yeah. yeah, so here's some previews I saw with people. 
chronoscope equals pulp. Yeah, it's that like our sci-fi pulpy stuff. So, so yeah, sci-fi kitchen sink. That's a good point. That's 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 what I would say. Sci-fi yes. kitchen sink. Absolutely. <laughs> Mad Max, but Mary Poppins. I love all yes. the, these descriptions. Uh, is is Santa gonna? Is the Santa too long to go along with the Krampus? Is that was that a weird sentence to read? That was hard for me. Is that Santa to go along with Krampus? Oh, speaking of Krampus, we can have them right next to each other. Neurocog wants more elder gods. Oh, actually, uh, I have seen some of our sculptors working on some more elder gods, so I know that they are there. So, <laughs> look at Sir Forescale, he's getting squished. Sorry, buddy. No love for Sir Forescale. But I put Krampus next to Santa Claus. I don't know if that's blasphemous, but I did it. It's right there. <laughs> Um, let's see if there's any good questions. More Wild West in Chronoscope, please. Um, we will see. I haven't seen everything in the expansion, um, but I have seen some stuff, but I don't know. Um, don't be afraid to suggest stuff, especially on the Kickstarter comments. Uh, after the Kickstarter's closed and everything, I know some of our sculptors go through and they write down a checklist. Uh, I will be doing that and I'll put it on a whiteboard, so don't be afraid to suggest stuff. Apes Among Us thinks we need a Jesus to go with Santa and Krampus so ah. we can have the ultimate battle royale. And I, I agree. We have a baby Jesus. We uh, do have a baby Jesus, mm -hmm. but we need a grown-up Jesus. <laughs> He's a part of our nativity set on our on our, on our our page. I don't know. I still think baby Jesus could give Santa and Krampus a run for their money, personally. <laughs> uh, well, I'm upping for the Greek. Yes, Dan Scarf. Scarf? Um, I agree. I think the Greek Odyssey expansion is incredible. I think it's one of the best that we've done, in my personal opinion. Ooh, Mouseling Jesus. I'll, I'll tell Gene on that. I'll tell Gene for that. Thanks for that suggestion. Um, is everybody having a good Monday? Uh, I know a lot of people listen to while they're at work. Um, so I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Uh, how are we looking on time? Oh, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're doing well. Awesome. Kevinicus, we do have a nativity set. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1,000 and... I'm trying to remember the number off the top of my head. It is a box set, right? Yeah, it's a box set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It comes in a big box set. Um, yes, need more sci-fi. There's coming. It's coming. Uh, any preview of the Crocosaurus yet? No, we don't have it printed. As soon as stuff gets printed or we get sent to the masters and the prints and stuff, I try to show them off as best I can. Um, so you, you guys will know. Oh, thanks, Neuro. The week just started. <laughs> just left work on your way to school. Uh, Tuesday there. So that means that they're way across the, the world there. Um, that's a good question. How much assembly will there be in this Kickstarter? Uh, Raven, I can't give you a solid answer uh, just because we don't know how things are going to be chopped up. Um, for instance, the Pegasus here, his wings are probably too far out for the molding process. Uh, so they have to be kind of cut in specific ways, but we don't decide how they're cut. Uh, that is the people who are making the tools for the molds. Uh, so like big dragons and things like that, they have to chop them a specific way. Um, so there, there's no way for us to know how things are going to be uh, cut and put together and things like that. So uh, Ultra Squid would like a full nipple spectrum. Um, mm. If I were in charge, uh, done and done. But. <laughs> We got trolls, we got otters, we got <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Uh, the previewed kaiju, is that happening still? I believe, To my knowledge, yes, Castman, it is. I just don't know where it is in the unlocks, but I would love to see it because I think the creature looks good. I don't know if Justin still has it, but it's it was from a while ago. Uh, Which one was it? It was the big uh, kaiju. Remember I said it looked like a beaver? Uh, I don't know if you have it saved, but it, you probably pulled it up from an email, but... Uh, it was a huge monster, uh, sculpted by Jason Weeby. Oh. Yeah, remember I said it looked like it had an otter face, uh -huh. or like a beaver, but it was huge. Um, yeah, you can you can push us out. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Ed said <laughs> Ed said a nipple colors was possible. I mean, he's the person to talk to. More Egyptian stuff. Um, that is a good point. Uh, to my knowledge, there is some. I've seen one thing that is kind of Egyptian-y. Uh, I think. Think Anubis. I would love that. Maybe some kind of statue. Yeah, maybe. Um, let's see if we have anything else on our docket here. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. 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 So anybody that's just joining us, we're matching subs today. Uh, Monday Blues. We're trying to get rid of the Monday Blues. So if you gift a sub, we will be matching it. Uh, we're trying to get her to our goal of 1700 down here. Uh, just remember that the next stretch goal is just a few friends away. So if you guys can share, share everywhere, share on your Twitter, your Facebook, Instagram. Uh, just try to get the word out there with your gaming group, all the people you play your games with, your RPGs with. Uh, that would be great. Uh, we have little things. You can send them here. Show them the pictures on the Facebook page. Um, send them to these videos where we show off things like the spider, Aircoff, um, all that stuff. So the more, the more backers, the better. I know we've been gaining pretty well. We're still, uh, we, we show off the loot golem at 17,745 will be when it gets unlocked. Uh, and I think we have the turnaround for that. Do you have the turnaround, Justin? For which one? Uh, the loot golem. Yeah. Colin, uh, showed, Colin showed the turnaround last week. I don't know if it's on there. If not, we can just show the picture of the loot golem. But, uh, I know we have a turnaround for it. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Hey. So So I have this, but let me look for the turnaround. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is the loot golem. Uh, it gets unlocked at 17,745. Backers. Uh, do, you know, do you know why it's 17,745? I don't. Oh, it's it's our it was the Bones One Kickstarter. We had seventeen thousand seven hundred and forty four backers, oh. and so we're trying to beat it by one backer. So if we beat it by one, we'll unlock the loot golem and put it into the corset. Um, I'm really excited for this piece. Oh. There we go. Ah, we got the turnaround. I think. I think I found it. Let me see. Let's we'll see if we found it. He clicks something and something else shows up. <laughs> hey, so I really like this piece because of the treasure chest on the back. He has like a, a chest sticking out of his back um, with the sword and the shield on his shoulder. Uh, and then the gem for the face. I cannot wait to see this painted up. Um, it's going to be incredible. So I love that. I, I cannot wait. Uh, and this was a suggestion from Kickstarter comments. Um, from, my, from my knowledge, all the way back in Bones 3 or Bones 4, people have been asking for a loot golem or a treasure golem. And so we finally made it. Especially with the overwhelming amount of support for it, we we couldn't we could not have, so we got this sculpted up. Neurocog wants to know what his left hand is made of. Uh, it looks like some kind of sword. Um, so those see so you see those rows of coins that kind of look like uh, there's just a bunch of coins kind of in a row, like you just bust it open like a a coin holder. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know what they're called. Do they have a name? But uh, they're just in those lines, but it looks like it just picked up a sword and wrapped its coins around it to hold it. Um, it like a halberd, like the tip of a halberd or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Mm. yeah. When my loot golem finally attacks the players sometime in 2022. Now, it'll be, it'll be to you before then. Coin roll, yeah. Coin rolls. Oh, that's what they're called? Coin rolls. Thanks, guys. Butter. He's holding a butter knife. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, this this piece is incredible. It's on a two-inch base, uh, along with the gym dragon, which got unlocked last week. Uh, I think last Thursday, I believe, during Reaper Live. That was kind of exciting that it happened during Reaper Live. Mm -hmm. um, we unlocked the gym dragon. Uh, that will be added to the core set. Uh, and don't forget that if you backed at all, uh, you still have Kickstarter Kickstarter pricing after the Kickstarter ends. Um, during the, the pledge manager phase of after everything. Um, and you can get extras of stuff. We broke it down on the graphic on the campaign page. Uh, it's in the little, the, the purple or the green highlights uh, on the core section, extras is what we're calling them, extras. So if you want extra boulder can or cat folk or kid heroes, you can get those. So like if you have a significant other that just wants, you know, more boulder can, you can get extra boulder can. Or your friends, you can go in on your friends and get extras. So that's pretty cool. Um, hey, thanks for the gifted. Harbinger, great, great spelling on that too. Sergeant Spine says his blade is called the budget cut. The budget cut. I yeah. enjoy that. Yeah. Loot goal and Mimi, banana shield. <laughs> Are we getting a Sophie this Kickstarter? I have heard rumors going around that Sophie is in the Kickstarter, but I don't know how she is going to be in it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a traditional one. It might be something a little bit different. So it's going to be exciting. And remember, in the graphic, we still got to find Sophie's lucky dice in the comic. That's what she's looking for. We got to find those lucky dice. Mm. Undead pirate Sophie. That would be amazing. Uh, undead pirate Sophie? Mm -hmm. 
Sophie, Sophie Mousling? Ooh. I'm writing that one down, too. I'll, I'll talk to Gene about it when he's here. I think he gets here sooner than later. Uh, sometime Wednesday or Thursday. Um, Sophie Ship Piece. Um, maybe. I, I don't know about that one, but uh, I know the rumor is, is that we haven't confirmed anything about uh, extra pieces in the front of the ship. Uh, what are the... Um, uh, Figureheads. Uh, I know that we're working maybe on trying to get more. Uh, not confirmed yet, but stay tuned to the Kickstarter updates page and we will tell you when we have concrete 100% information. Cleo81, I also think we need more fairy minis. More fairy minis, yeah. I, I love lo the fairies. I love the fairies that we have, especially the winter fairy. Uh, the mm -hmm. wings are incredible. Um, we have a really good painted one in our gallery. So if you ever come take a tour, you'll get to see the gallery here in the factory. Uh, we try to put a bunch of uh, pictures up on our Instagram and stuff of that. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For anybody that's just joining us, uh, we delayed the ship announcement until maybe tomorrow or Wednesday or later today. Uh, just stay, stay tuned to the Kickstarter uh, updates, Kickstarter updates. Uh, and then if I find out any more information, I will let you guys know. 100% uh, information. Uh, we talked about the Dwarf King encounter yes. today. Um, the current plan is to have the lid on the tomb come off. I know a lot of people were asking for that. Uh, that, is, that is the current plan. Uh, it could change, but that is the current plan. Um, we're having a party here on November 2nd, uh, noon to six, RSVP on Facebook. You know, though you know the shindig. Bones 5 Kickstarter countdown party is what you need to search for. Uh, and if you don't use social media, make sure you email us at business at reapermini.com uh, and then tell us how many you're bringing RSVPing and all that stuff. Uh, so it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a hoot and a blast. Uh, it's only, f wait, five days? Five days away? Is that right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Math. Quick math. Spotopotamus. Uh, I would love to see a, a dragon with butterfly wings or dragonfly wings. Mm -hmm. a that dragon, would be beautiful. A, a fairy dragon, maybe? That sounds cool. That little, sounds great. little tiny one. Or a big Ooh, one. Ooh. Rainbow Sculptor. That's a good idea. I'll write it down. Uh, she says, uh, Feywild expansion. That does sound cool. That's a great idea. We'll tell Ron right after this. Uh, fairy dragon, yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, five days, yeah, five days away. Don't worry, guys, strap in. You might want to put your seatbelts on because it's going to be a wild ride for the next five days. Uh, there's going to be stuff going crazy, especially tomorrow night uh, at uh, 9 p.m. Central or 7, p 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're doing an announcement on Tox Machina on the Crit Roll Twitch channel. So... Stay tuned for that. A lot of people are saying yes to the Feywild expansion. I really like that. I, that's a good idea. I'll definitely circle that one. Uh, remember, we're doing an announcement tomorrow night, like I said, on Tox Machina. Uh, they're going to be announcing something that is exclusive announcement for the Kickstarter that we haven't shown anything about. So we'll talk about that on Wednesday after they announce it. Uh, and so make sure you guys watch that if you guys want to know. And we'll probably do an announcement uh, on the uh, Kickstarter updates right afterwards. Real quick, last chance for gifted subs, though we're about to uh, match mm -hmm. them and disperse those now. Yeah, so get your get your gifted subs in if you're going to gift. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, remember, gift responsibly. <laughs> yes. uh, but it is Monday Blue, so we are matching it. Uh, something we started a few weeks ago, so we might as well continue it. That was, it seems to be a great fun. Yeah, a lot of... I, I Don't worry, guys, I have it circled. So I have it circled here. I'll, I'll do plus a thousand on it. I see a lot of plus ones in chat for it, so that is a great idea. Thanks, Rainbow Sculptor. Also uh, remember, um, if you do want to renew, Prime subs do uh, not automatically renew. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to, um, do that. Yeah. Thanks, Daka, for the gifted. Um, so for the people who don't know, if you have an Amazon Prime account and a Twitch account, you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and they'll give you one free sub a month. Uh, and what she was saying is that it doesn't renew, so you have to renew it yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had money to gift subs, I should be upping my pledge instead. That sounds like a great strategy to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarducci, I love the infernal NASCAR idea because we're really close to a to a NASCAR <laughs> yeah. track or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't don't worry, UK. I'll I'll run straight to his office right after this and I'll tell him. Um, can we get a roving Reaper tour for the Twitch someday this week? Can we get a roving Reaper tour? Oh, you mean like a live one where you follow me around with a camera? Uh. Probably not. <laughs> this week's going to uh, be pretty crazy. Yeah, not this week. Uh, we'll, we like to do those in like little film segments uh, for each department because the tour is about an hour and a half, uh, depending on how many questions people ask. 
Uh, so it's about an hour and a half. Uh, so I don't, it, w it would take too long to get the camera and all the different departments and everything. So uh, it's just better to film it in little sections. And then we can show them on Reaper Live. Yes. Which is when? Although a uh, live walkthrough would be possible individually with us answering questions along the way. By five more gifted from oh, Valhalla. Thank you. Um, that would be very much possible. Uh, I've kind of already worked on something like that to make it happen. Mm -hmm. We just have to iron out the um, the tour itself. Yeah. So. Uh, so keep in mind that is coming. It'll normally be shown on Reaper Live. I think is when we normally like to show those things. So. Um. <laughs> I would glad I would gladly host Reaper Live in my house. I don't know. I don't know. Rings Raccoon. We might not have enough room because of all your paint that you just got. Um, so thanks UK for the gifted. Uh, whose paychecks are these match subs coming out of? Uh, Sadie's actually. Oh, Since Sadie's she's on the show. Week. Yeah. Oh. Not Sadie. Yeah. She's got kitties to feed. <laughs> um, but Justin, I I've heard it's Justin. Justin's paycheck. I don't know about that's, that, Tazalan. It's always me. Uh, I think we're kind of saving that for Saturday. So if you if you can make it by on Saturday, we'll be doing giveaways on Saturday. So try to come by. If you if you're not here in person, try to make it online. Um, Maybe. Um, yeah. Malin, Dave, since he's not here, we can volunteer, volunteer him. him. Man, you really know how a Reaper runs, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If somebody's not in the room, you just volunteer him for something. Or blame them. Take it from Ed's check. The, the gifted. <laughs> oh, Colin's paycheck. All these are great examples, as long as they're not John's paycheck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got, I, got more, I got more to pledge on the Kickstarter. So... I'm in about, I think I last I checked, 186 at this point. So I'm in for 186. Uh, yeah, KSB, I, put, I believe I did. Um, I'm going to do a, the check on those today and get the, some of the stuff running on them already. Um, remember now, like kind of as a reminder, if you uh, won something on last Thursday, make sure to get your email in mm -hmm. so yeah. that uh, get your stuff to yeah. you. Mm -hmm. That's funny, Reaper Harley. <laughs> Dave has no paycheck. He's married. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Reaper employee discount on retail sales. Mm, only 186. I'm waiting for the Greek part three to be fully released and then I'll get it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'll definitely go up coming to the party type shave John in chat. No, thank you. People did uh, ask for your beard. I know we could, we could send out pieces of it. I've been working on it for a long time. So, and I, I shaved this weekend, so I'm bald now. Gift bomb incoming. Hey, Biff, gift bomb coming in. Boom. Remember, so we're not we're not currently matching anymore. Uh, so after this gift bomb, after the bomb goes off, we're not gifting anymore. Twenty two. Welcome everybody. Thanks Reaper Miniatures for the gifted subs. Uh, make sure you follow us on our Facebook, our Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I think Ron created a Pinterest a few weeks ago, so we're on Pinterest now. Uh, <laughs> Um, so make sure you follow us on all those. Uh, share them as much as possible. Share the Kickstarter with all your friends. Uh, the more backers we get, the easier it is to start unlocking more stuff. And don't forget to strap in your seat belts because in the next five days it's about to go crazy. All you Reaper veterans in chat, you know how it goes the last couple of days. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a blast. I can't wait. I uh, hope to see everybody at the party this weekend. I'm excited. Are you gonna be at the party, Sadie? I'm gonna be at the party. Okay. I'm gonna be working. Sadie will be there. So if we do tours, you'll get to see me run Audrey, the mm -hmm. automatic paint pumping machine. Mm -hmm. Audrey 1. People keep asking if it's Audrey 2. Yeah. It's not Audrey 2 yet. Yeah. Not yet. She's coming. Classic uh, Audrey. We got a raid lined up? Got the raid lined up. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button now and it's going to be about 10 to 15 seconds after that. So awesome. get your All last right. stuff in now. Get, get ready guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. This Monday. Uh, it was a sunny Monday here today. No, it's no more rainy. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back here 3 p.m. Central. Uh, so we've got any new stuff to show you. Um, try to get those unlocked so we can talk about them tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. See you, you guys Bye. later. Thank you for hanging out with us today.